Assalamualaikum and good morning to everyone. Today, me and my group, we are going to present you some of the instruments that are trade in the Islamic financial market. So, today, we are going to talk about three instruments, which is number one, government investment issue, and number two, Mudarabah Interbank Investment, and number three, Wadiah Interbank Investment. Hi, my name is Amanov Abama Aziz um, and my matrix number is 01DKB21F1001. I'm here to talk about government investment issue or we can call it GI. GI is an alternative debt instrument for the government that consists of Islamic securities that were issued in accordance with Sharia standards. After that, as for the law aspect, the Government Funding Act of 1983 authorized the issuance of GI in order to allow the Malaysian government to raise money in in conformity with Sharia law, and the function of GI is to generate money on the local capital market for the purpose of funding government development spending. As for the last one, is the player or the investor of GI, such as the employer providing fund (EPF), financial institution including PDS, insurance companies including takaf operator, Islamic insurers. Asset management firms and international financial institutions are among the main investors in government securities. Features of government investment issue The first one is the issuer which is Government of Malaysia. The second is the issue size which is around RM2 to 5 billion. After that is the tenure is about 3 to 20 years. The fourth is return payment which is profit payment is semi-annual, profit rate is market determined based on the weight average successful yield of the issue, the count basic is actual. For another features of the government investment issue is the method of the sale in the primary market. Usually it uses competitive multiple price auction. Bids are submitted by the principal dealer on a yield basis for the new issues and price basis on the reopened issues. And for redemption aspect, you can redeem this instrument uh, at par upon maturity. Assalamualaikum, I am Iskandar Sriyanan B. Ahmad Saimi from DKB3K1 and my matrix number is 01DKB21F1011. I will present about Mudarabah Interbank Investment MII. Mudarabah Interbank Investment is a wholesale money market transaction designed as liquidity management instrument in the Islamic money market. Mudarabah Interbank Investment has some limitation which are written is only determined on the maturity date, fixed maturity period, no risk profile and the principal is not guaranteed. In this video, I will present about applicable sharing of concept Mudarabah, profit sharing, a form of partnership between one who contribute capital, rob amal or known as capital provider, and the other who contribute efforts in the form of managerial skill, moderate or known as manager. Next, profit from the outcome of the partnership is shared between the capital provider and manager according to mutual agreed profit sharing retail values are borne solely by the capital provider provided such loss is not due to the manager's negligence or violation of specific conditions in this video i will talk about types of interbank mudarabah there are four types of inter interbank mudarabah firstly mudarabah interbank mip Mudaraba interbank refers to the bank investment on the basis of Mudaraba to another participating bank. Secondly, Mudaraba interbank acceptance (MIA). Mudaraba interbank acceptance refers to bank acceptance investment on the basis of Mudaraba from another participating bank. Thirdly, foraging Mudaraba placement (FMIP). Foraging Mudaraba placement refers to the bank investment in foraging currency on the basis of Mudaraba from another participating bank. Lastly, foraging Mudaraba acceptance FMIA. 
Foraging mudaraba acceptance refers to the bank accepting foraging currency investment on the basis of mudaraba from another participating bank. That's all for me. Thank you. So, for the features of interbank mudaraba is, interbank mudaraba is a joint venture between two interbank counterparties where the supply bank invests or place the fund into the deficit bank. Both parties will negotiate uh, and agree uh, on the amount and the tenor of investment and the profit sharing ratio and any losses must be borne by the investor. Profit is paid on the maturity date but based on the receiving bank prevailing gross rate and the profit sharing ratio of the investing bank. Features of Mudaraba Interbank Investment is Number one, the profit sharing ratio is negotiable and number two, the tenure is from one day to a maximum of 10 years and number three, the minimum amount of issues is negotiable and number four, the investor or players of this instrument is all financial institutions that are accorded with interbank status by BNM and also all foreign financial institutions that are permitted. Hello, my name is Mama Faiz My my metric number is 01DKB to 1F1004. Today I will talk about Wadiah Interbank Investment. Interbank investment is basically referred to a mechanism whereby the Islamic banking institution place their surplus fund with BNM based on the concept of Al Wadiah. Set for Wadiah is the SM. Acceptor fund is viewed as the custodian for the fund and there is obligation on the part of the custodian to pay any return on the account. Mention for Wadia is Wadia Interbank facilitate bank and liquidity management operation as it gave flexibility for bank M to declare dividend without having to invest the fund receive. Turn for Wadia is any dividend paid by the custodian is perceived as hiba, which is give in easy word to understand. There are two types of wadia. The first one is wadia yad amana, and the second one is wadia yad damana. Wadia yad amana is involved sales custody of deposit based on trust. The custodian of property maintains safe keeping of the fund with due diligence without receiving any profits is also bound to return the fund on demand and cannot use the asset for the investment. One is Wadia Yad Damana. Basically, Wadia Yad Damana act as guarantee safe custody. Banks can utilize the property for investment purpose and have a right to receive profit, generate by funds. However, they also be fully responsible if any damage that happened. That's all from me for Wadia Interbank Investment.